Hey everyone, welcome back to Astronomy Into the Stars. In this video, we are going to look at the focal length. Uh, the focal length of a telescope is how long the telescope is. Okay, so it's measured in millimeters or centimeters. Uh, the telescope that we're looking at now is the Celestron 21049 Power Seeker 127EQ. As we learned in our previous video, that 127 is the diameter telescope known as the aperture or the uh, objective lens. The bigger that is, the more light can get into your telescope, which just makes it a better telescope. The length of the telescope deals with magnification. The longer the telescope, the basically the more magnification you're going to get. So in this case, this is a thousand millimeter telescope, which means the light has to travel roughly one meter down this telescope. Now, if you look right above here, it says that the optical tube length is only half a meter, which means this telescope, the length of the barrel is only about half a meter, but the focal length is a thousand. So what's happening is the light is traveling down this barrel, bouncing back, hitting another mirror, and then traveling back down. So the total travel distance is about a meter, even though the telescope is only half a meter long. So when you go to buy a telescope, you want to look at the focal length and not just look at the telescope and go, okay, which one's the longest? Uh, because the focal length can kind of be hidden in there when the light bounces around. So there are two things that you need in order to figure out the magnification of the telescope. You need the focal length of the telescope. In this case, this one's a thousand millimeters. Uh, and then you also need the focal length of the eyepiece. This telescope comes with two uh, eyepieces. Eyepiece number one is 20 millimeters, and eyepiece number two is four millimeters. So to figure out the magnification, all you have to do is take the focal length of the telescope and divide that by the focal length of the eyepiece you're going to use. Now this one comes with two eyepieces, so you'll be able to swap them out. So if you use the 20 millimeter eyepiece, you're gonna go 1,000 divided by 20, which gives you 50, which means you're getting this object to appear 50 times larger than it would appear to the naked eye. If you use the four millimeter uh, eyepiece, eyepiece number two in this case, uh, that'll give you a magnification of uh, 1000 divided by four, which is 250. And you can see that in the image that they posted here. There's the two eyepieces that you'll get. One is 50X, the other one is 250X. Now there's a trade-off between magnification. If you magnify too far, you're going to be able to see much more detail, but the object's gonna appear a bit dimmer. And that's because the amount of light that comes in the telescope isn't based off magnification. That's based off how big the telescope is in terms of its diameter. You're not getting more light in by magnifying. All you're doing is making the image bigger, which will dim it a little bit. Now, in the sake of the moon, you don't really care about dimming it. The moon is so bright anyway, magnifying in isn't going to be that big of a problem in terms of it being bright. However, zooming in really far is going to enhance the distortion that we get due to the atmosphere. Because of the atmosphere, the light shimmers and moves around a lot. So if you zoom in really far, it's going to be hard to take a photo because the moon's going to kind of be moving a lot when you try to do that. So you want to find a nice balance with magnification. So you'll try it with the 50X, you'll try it with the 250, and just see which one you like the most when you're taking a photo. Both of those should be fine with this telescope. And that's it. So with this telescope, we're talking about focal length and we're talking about aperture. Those are the two parts so far. In my next video, I'm going to go through all the different things that are listed with this telescope, just kind of point out what those things are and whether they're important for you. But the two things that you're going to care about the most is going to be the diameter of the telescope, whether it's a refractor or a reflector, and then find the last thing is the focal length, just to give you that magnification.